So welcome back. So to this uh, video analysis, uh, as you can see, I'm I'm currently analysing this uh, 2014 uh, Nathaniel Kelly classic, uh, Old Man Charles, and specifically I'm on the 12th frame and the uh, 2 minute 45 mark. So if we dive right in, as you can see, they've got some highlighter here. It's actually it's actually the yellow variant of the highlighter that they've used there. To like highlight these words in this newspaper, um, and that's an interesting choice that I've made there. That that the old man Charles has highlighted this with yellow highlighter, because you see yellow highlighter is actually it's actually the cheapest of the highlighters. You know, like if you go down to the, if you go down to the shops and you're looking for in the highlighter highlighter area, then yellow is actually going to be the cheapest. And I'll just point that out for you with with some arrows there, because because uh, I can do this just so you can see uh, just so you can see what I'm what I'm trying to point out there. So there's something else here, if you also look closely here, you can see over here, um, you see this in Libris, like, Libris isn't actually an English word, so, so that's interesting that there's, that's not a real word there. Down here, M-E-A, even if that was a continuation of a word maybe off the screen here, that, uh, that we're not seeing, like, this is the second half of the word, well, no English English words actually end with M E A, and that's not a word in itself. So, so we can see there's there's some so there's some mistakes in this article. Like it's not a real article, and that leads me to to point out that uh, that old man Charles, he probably fabricated this this like entire article. Like it's a whole. It's just a fabrication. Like none of it. None of it was real. Maybe uh, maybe old man Charles isn't even uh, even Martin's. Uh, Grandfather, like, uh, like the story concludes with maybe Old Man Charles just just fabricated this entire thing. So I'll put one of those there. I think I think we got that. Okay, and now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on. Let's go to the next frame. And this is an interesting frame right here as you've got going. It's pretty dark, but you can see with the light here, with the light that uh, that this hands of is shining. Uh, the light is kind of reflecting off over here. You can see a little reflection on on Nick. Nick's uh, something going on there, or it could be a flare in like the lens. I don't know, but I think it's significant. It's actually pointing out uh, that that Nick's uh, jawline there, and if we move along, see it kind of fades away, but it's there for a fraction. And I think what that's pointing out is uh, that Nick's actually a cannibal, because you see, it's pointing out he's got a strong jawline, so. So I'll put that out. So, uh, there we go. So, okay, strong jawline there. Uh, strong jawline. So, what that's pointing out is he's he's he, he obviously chews a lot of like tough meat or something, and like human flesh has tough meat. And if we move along here, he's oh, if we just move along a few frames, see he's got the digits. Look at his hands there. The jit not all about right. So. So he's obviously nervous about something, and what he's nervous about, he's actually a bit, bit hungry, a bit peckish, he wants to eat this fella. So that's what's going on there. Um, that's a, oh, that's the wrong one. That's not what I wanted. I don't know how to get rid of that, but, uh, we'll move on, we'll keep going. Uh, let's see. Let's see, so. And they, they kind of talk there, but see, he's like, he's looking down, and he's all in shadow, like, like a cannibal, like animal. He's like... Yeah, there's definitely something malicious going on there. Look at this handsome fella. Okay, next frame. And th this one's an interesting one. You see here, there's all this random junk. But this tablecloth is actually a good tablecloth. I've looked that up. I've looked that up, and that's actually an expensive tablecloth. Like, that's, that's the real deal. That's, that's good quality fabric. So, so if we, from that previous frame we worked out that old man Charles, uh, he fabricated this entire idea, maybe he... Uh, He's actually a bit of a con man, and that's how he gets the money to pay for these kind of things. Just kind of like, um, the tablecloth. He's, uh, he's actually a bit of a con man. That's what old man Charles is, and this is an entire con to, to, to make, uh, to make, to make Martin so think that, uh, his grandfather probably give him some money or something. Get him, like, some more money than his pension. That's, so that's what's going on there, and that's just from a few seconds of this film. And I'm gonna end there for today, but, uh, We'll, we'll continue some more analysis another time, because because uh, this was interesting, wasn't it? it was just what what I can analyse just from a few frames of this film. I haven't actually watched the whole thing, uh, but I don't think I need to. I think I work it out. So uh, catch you later.